And I was, I could take, the, the asphalt was so hot that I could make a print and it was my foot. Okay, Ted, tell us about the fire of 1931 in Spencer. Well, the thing that really impressed me as an eight-year-old boy was about five o'clock in the afternoon, we were standing at the corner and I looked across the street and there was quite a few people there. And the police were deputizing the merchants and handing out guns to them. What? To stop looters during the night. For the fire. Because after, because the, fire. after the fire? Yeah. yeah. Were you there during the fire? Oh, yes. Tell, can you describe it to us? Well, it started in Bernstein's drugstore on the corner where they, they had a table full of fireworks on sale. A little boy had a sprinkler in his hand and his brother lit it and it scared him and he threw it and it lit in that table. But the wind was blowing strong out of the west and there used to be the, there was the drugstore on the corner. I think the next building was a hardware store. Then there was a, a jewelry store and there was the Clay County Bank. The next store was Scott's department store. It was like a Woolworth store. But anyway, it, it, the, the bank, when it was built, they, was, they had ordinances years ago, but a lot of them hadn't built by them, but where they had to have what they call a fire wall. That's a double wall. Well, there was a double wall between this bank and Scott's. So that's all the further that went down the west side of the main street. But the fire went across the street and set that on fire, and it burnt for two blocks going to the railroad track. Tell me where this um, bank was that had the firewall. Is that building still there now? Yes. What is it now? It, uh, is there a kitchen place in there now? Uh, is that what that, that, this and that, or whatever they call that? Or what? But it was called the Clay County National Bank Could way you... back there. It'd be on the west side of the street. On the west side? Yeah. Uh, Can you think of anything near it now, just to place books it? Books and things. Books and things, that's it, yeah. It used to be books and things, it's right on the no, corner. Oh, the hen house? Across from the hen house. Right across the, the, the side from the hen house. I wondered if that was it. Well, yeah. it was on Main Street there for a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it, it's, it's, a, it's on the next side of the street mm -hmm. from the Bernstead drugstore. It goes south. Yeah. No, that's that's didn't, that didn't burn. Okay. That stayed. Okay, so I'm not But sure. that street... <laughs> that goes alongside that, which is called 4th Street in Spencer. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was Highway 18. Really? I didn't know that either. Yeah. And that went clear to Dickens, mm -hmm. and it went past Hartley, Everly. It, that was high. it was a gravel road. Hmm. But three, two and a half miles out of Spencer is where we were on the farm, where Eaton Company is out there that well. Just a mile from that was where we lived. No kidding. And we were sitting in the yard. Oh, it was a hot day. And uh, these, we, we were seeing fire trucks going past down Highway 18, which was a gravel road at that time. And we wondered what was going on. And we finally got to looking, and we could see flames finally. So when we got in the car, we drove to town. <laughs> and when you got to town, what did you see? Fire. <laughs> It was burned. Was it on both sides of the street yes. then? Yes. Yeah, that didn't take long to get across the street. And up above the Bernstead was a big telephone office. And all those girls had to get out of there. And quite a few people burned. There was only one death in that fire, but a lot of close ones. What happened after the fire, the, the recovery after the fire? Oh, you ought to, I wish, I don't remember where that, you gave me that book. And I don't know where it's at now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's a book that as Gal and Spencer has got out that you can read. It's just a thin paper book. But it's got a really a good story of the Spencer fire. Tell me what you remember about after the fire. I remember, like I say, I saw these guys being deputized. Yeah. And handed guns. Well, you told me, too, that they came in and they used dynamite, I think, to take down oh, yeah. the rest of the building. They had yeah. walls that were standing yet. Yeah. And they, they were afraid of falling on people, so they they had to get didn't have enough dynamite here. And I remember somebody had an airplane and they flew to the Moines and got dynamite and brought it back to knock those walls down. 
But it's quite a story, that book that you gave me. It's unbelievable telling them about well, we the, the engineers. Right now, we're that, just using the <laughs> grater, you know, yeah. so push it down, but they didn't have Well, they got engineers stuff. in, and they started rebuilding. So did um, a lot of the shop owners who owned buildings that were burned, did they rebuild oh, yes. and stay there? Yeah. Or did Some of the first ones that leave. started rebuilding was the theater people. And they, they was an outfit out of uh, Minneapolis, I think. And there was, uh, uh, there was two guys that were a barber. They were able to take their barber chairs and carry them out into the street. <laughs> but that was uh, Red and Al's barber shop right alongside the old Spencer Theater. Of course, where Jimmy John's is on the corner now, that used to be a big Woolworth store. And was it burned? No. It burned everything clear to the railroad track. But it didn't go, didn't take the whole block. The last half of that block they saved. There was a lumber yard back there and a gas station and different things. They saved all those. Oh, that fire was fierce. But then they dug the street up. The bridge, when you go south out of Spencer, there's a bridge. And, the, and if you get, if you was, when you get to the south end of the bridge, if you was to walk off, you probably can see them yet, but the, the slabs so big of the street that they dug up and they hauled out there and built the street. I, saw, I remember I, that used to be our football field was right there alongside that. And we used to go down there and we used to walk down those blocks go down to get to the fields where that's usually flooded every year anymore. Yeah. But that was called, what's that was called, Leach Field or something that's like okay. that. But that's where we played, we didn't even play baseball, played football and everything. Uh -huh. How long did it take before businesses in Spencer got sort of back to normal? Pretty quick. They, they had engineers come from all over. That that store, you just you, you, you don't know where you got that book, did you? Oh, you can buy it at the bookstores around here. There's a gal in Spencer yeah. that yeah. wrote that book. I've, I'll get a copy of it. I'm yeah. really oh, interested. You, you want to know the Spencer fire? It really tells it. Because mm -hmm. there was a the fire departments came from all over. But I always they tell about the fire chief in Spirit Lake. He came down and of course he asked them where they wanted him to set his truck up. And the place they told him to go to, he didn't like. So he sat on that street right by the Tangney Hotel right down there. And he got up on top of the buildings on the west side of the highway. And he crawled over the buildings and he got up to about where the Scott store was in that firewall. And he shot water and he, they credit him with saving that half of that block. Wow. But he, he didn't do what they wanted. And that's what it tells in that book, mm. how he crawled up there. But he, mm. with, that, with that firewall plus the water, he saved that whole side of the rest of that street <laughs> for their business places. And those are the people that were being deputized so the looters couldn't get in that night. <laughs> did these businesses have insurance? How did they well, get the funds to rebuild? back in hard times. Mm -hmm. This was, it was depression, wasn't it? 31. Somebody, nobody had much money. No. So how were they able to be rebuild? <laughs> there, it beats all how some people have money. <laughs> the theater people really were quite prominent, but you get that book. I will get that book. <laughs> Okay. Will, that is a heck of a book. I have, I've given it out to so many people here to read, and I don't know where it's at now. Yeah. It might even be there for all I know. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for telling us about the fire of 31, Ted. <laughs>